In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the current conditions going into the upcoming pattern and really just taking a deep dive into the severe weather that is still upcoming. We can see here that we do have quite a bit of activity here in the central United States ongoing. Although the western United States is a lot quieter than it has been, uh, we also see some activity up here for the northeastern corner of the United States that we'll need to take a look at. That was some very nasty storms we had last night here in the eastern United States there for this entire region here. Uh, let me know how that went for you guys. I obviously hope that nobody dealt with any damage to property or anything like that uh, because those were, were some pretty nasty storms. There's a lot of folks that dealt with a lot of hail, uh, wind, and obviously there were some tornadic storms out there as well. Um, so there was a lot going on. Let me know how you made it out of that. Um, let me know if you had any thunderstorms hit your area in the comments down below. I'd be curious to hear about that. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in. We can see that we always start out in the northwest, but there isn't a whole lot going on. A little bit earlier uh, yesterday into this morning, very, very early this morning, probably around 1, 2, 3 a.m., there was some showers still around. And those have rapidly uh, really deteriorated uh, over time. So now we're seeing hardly anything around for Washington and Oregon, which has been weeks and weeks since I could have said that. Uh, we do have some showery activity down here for portions of Wyoming, Utah, and Nevada here. Uh, mostly lighter showers, no thunderstorms in there. Uh, we're not even breaking into the yellows or oranges here, so we know this is very light precipitation in these regions. We can see up there for the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, we see quite a bit of activity in here. Some of this activity is actually a bit heavier, especially in here for North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota. There, even into Nebraska, where we even see a severe thunderstorm warning in there. Let's take a look at that real quickly here. Yeah, we can see that right in here taking place. Very heavy precipitation. We see those pinks showing up, which on our, our radar scale here is pretty high. Uh, so likely very heavy rainfall, maybe even hail taking place there in Nebraska. All right, now as we move southward, we can see some of this thunderstorm activity also taking place here for Kansas and Oklahoma. And if it's not a thunderstorm, we see heavier showers going on around uh, these regions. So that is also worth noting. Let's see. I do see some thunderstorm activity that was taking place there for Alabama and Florida there. We see some of this sparking up this morning. It's still ongoing, so be on the lookout if you are in this region for some isolated and scattered thunderstorms taking place. It looks like that is going to be a possibility throughout the day today for that region. Mostly quiet for a lot of these areas. We see the northeastern United States is dealing with some of these showers in here, especially this corridor that I'm drawing here. So mostly upper uh, New England, kind of the upper regions of New York as well. Uh, we're seeing some of those showery activity going on, especially now for Maine and New York. It was happening in Vermont and New Hampshire as well a little bit earlier on. So we are seeing this activity off and on. And we do see that some of this is going to make its way down back into New York. So we can expect this to kind of wrap around uh, and get back introduced into this western region. Uh, so a little bit of activity going on throughout the day today for this region as well. All right, now what we're going to do, a little bit quieter here on the current conditions, but we're going to move on and we're going to talk about the upcoming pattern. We're really going to break that down and also, again, stay tuned for the Storm Prediction Center at the end, of course. All right, now here we are taking a look at our simulated radar. Let me just move it towards this afternoon. See, so we have some thunderstorm activity starting up here for the uh, kind of north central United States, but mostly quieter here for the eastern and the western United States, as we saw in the current conditions. As we move towards approximately tomorrow afternoon, we see a lot of that activity with the thunderstorms moves a little bit further eastward here. So we see it move mostly into here, but the severe weather tomorrow is going to be relatively uh, mild for Wednesday, May 18th here. So let's move on towards uh, Thursday, May 19th, we see some activity for basically all of the northern United States, whether it's snowfall in the west here, a little bit more snowfall on the way, or thunderstorms and showers here for the northeastern and the north central United States. That's kind of what we're seeing quite a bit of. Now, as we head towards Friday, May 20th, we see a lot of this activity here for the north central United States. Uh, big storm up here in Canada, bringing some snowfall here to the Rockies. Uh, and also some showery activity here in the upper uh, Midwest slash North Central United States. We do see quite a bit of activity here for Florida and other portions of the Southeast. Saturday, we see some activity here in the Southeast. Uh, pretty, pretty much looks like thunderstorms to me there in Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma here, as well as Louisiana and Mississippi. 
Uh, so some heavier activity going on in there. Sunday, we see this activity move a little bit further eastward. Look, this is going to be a very warm weekend for the eastern United States, by the way. 90s for a lot of folks, upper 80s for most everybody. Uh, so kind of we're watching Friday through Monday for these warmer temperatures. And those should be fully moved out by about Tuesday. Because as we see on Monday, we see that the jet stream is dipping in here. So there could be some warmer air still around in here. But by the time we reach Tuesday, uh, that trough is going to kind of be centered over here a little bit, although it's not looking quite as bad as it did on past model runs, in my opinion, at this point. Upper Midwest thunderstorms possible Tuesday, May 24th, also southeast, looking at some activity. Wednesday, we see quite a bit of activity going on in here. That's going to be the 25th, so I'm watching for that. Let's see, Thursday, we see that move up into the northeast, and then we can't really see to Friday. So that is the upcoming storm pattern. So that is everything that we see in the upcoming pattern. Things are going to get rapidly warmer as we approach June. Obviously, that's fairly normal, but it's going to be a little bit more dramatic this time around because things were actually cold for a while there, uh, and they're going to dramatically turn around. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see. Now, for the total precipitation here, uh, if you're anywhere in the whites, you're expecting no precipitation over the next 10 days. Grays will be about anything to about 0.1 inches of precipitation. Greens will be 0.1 to 0.5 inches. Blues will be 0.5 to an inch. Yellows will be an inch to two inches. Reds will be two to five inches. Your browns are gonna be five to 10 inches of precipitation. So we see quite a bit of that happening in the Eastern United States as well as the Northwestern United States. But for the Central United States, in a lot of the western United States, things have really cooled off as far as precipitation, in my opinion. Here is the total snowfall here, and we can see even less of this showing up, but we're expecting a dusting, if anything, in the grays. Blues will be 2 to 6 inches of snowfall, purples will be 6 to 10, and then your pinks will be 10 to 20. Pastels will be 20 inches plus. So we see some of that there for Colorado. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on, and we're going to take a look at the upcoming temperature pattern. All right, now here we are taking a look at about right now. Let me go ahead and keep going with this here. Uh, we see that there are some warmer temperatures expected for most of the United States here uh, throughout the day today on Tuesday, May 17th. Wednesday, May 18th, things start to really heat up here in the eastern United States, but things are just going to keep heating up in the northeast. That cold is going to push out. So we see by Thursday, we see this already has receded to where it's very far northward. This warmth is clearly pushing in and intruding in on these regions. Uh, and then we're seeing cold move in for the west here, just like this. So this is the pattern. Friday, look at that. Very, very hot here for the eastern United States. Like I mentioned, we're seeing just a dramatic warm-up, 90s likely, and upper 80s for a lot of these regions. We see a cold front of sorts showing up in here that is looking to uh, put an end to the party of the warm air. It's, it's really going to be a party crasher here. We see by Saturday, this is still around even warmer for some spots actually than Friday, but this cold front is rapidly approaching, probably going to have some storms along it as well. Sunday, look at that. Very, very hot for the Eastern seaboard, but for everywhere else here in these cold, colder regions, um, it's going to be obviously colder than normal. And this cold front is really rapidly approaching. And by Monday, we only see warmer than normal temperatures here for South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. Primarily a trough in the east here by Monday. Now by Tuesday, same, same idea here. A little bit less dramatic there with that trough, but still around. Wednesday, it looks like this warmth is trying to move back into the eastern United States. We'll see what plays out. Thursday, it looks about like this, I would say. Uh, we see a bit of a ridge here in the central United States and then a trough in the west trough in the east that is the look here and it looks like towards the end of the model run this is the last frame but it looks like things are heading eastward with the warmth so we might start june on a warm note although that is very long range so take it with a grain of salt now what we're going to do here is we're going to move on we're going to take a look at the storm prediction center all right now here we are taking a look at the day one categorical outlook here and as you can see we have three general thunderstorm risks there one for the central united states and then two down there for the southeast it's those lighter green regions. Actually, we have four, better yet, northern Maine has one as well. Uh, these areas are where we expect general thunderstorms to take place, but severe weather cannot be ruled out. So, obviously, uh, pay attention to all watches, warnings, and advisories that do happen to come through. We do have a marginal risk there in the darker green where we expect isolated severe weather to be possible. 
And then the yellow area there for the uh, kind of plains regions, that's where we expect to have scattered severe weather taking place. That is a slight risk of severe weather. Uh, our orange region there for Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, uh, that is where we have an enhanced risk of severe weather, and that is where widespread severe weather will be possible. Let's take a look at those individual outlooks real quickly. Keep in mind, it's all based on 25 miles of a given location, but we have a 5% chance of damaging wind there in the green, 15% chance of damaging wind there within the yellow, and then a 30% chance there of damaging wind within the red region for Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, and Missouri. Now, for the hail outlook, it's almost the same thing, 5% in the green, 15% in the yellow, and then a 30% chance there in the red, but we do have a hatched area there for Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, and Iowa, uh, where we do have two-inch diameter or larger hail uh, as a threat here from the Storm Prediction Center. It looks like there is ingredients there uh, to allow for that large of hail to take place. For the tornado outlook, we have a 2% chance in the green and then a 5% chance there within the brown. All right. Now, for day two, we have three general thunderstorm risks, one there for the Rockies, one there for Florida, and then one there for a lot of the central and eastern United States. Then we have two marginal risks within there. Again, the two dark green regions there where we have isolated severe weather expected. For day three, we have three general thunderstorm risks again, one for the Rockies again, one for the central and eastern United States again, and then one there for Florida again. Uh, this is the areas where we expect general thunderstorms, obviously. Darker green region, again, is our isolated severe weather region. Our marginal risk is what they call it. And then the yellow region is our slight risk of severe weather, where we expect scattered severe weather to take place in there. And then we have one extended outlook here for Friday, May 20th here. That's going to be day four, where we expect at least a slight risk here for this yellow region, all the way from Texas up to Michigan. So things are looking quite intense in the severe weather department. Anyway... For today's confidence tab, we are at a 5 out of 6, actually. I feel like I'm moving up in the confidence only because uh, we've gotten to where this pattern seems like we've got, got a grip on it over the past couple of days, and it's looked the same over the past couple of days. All these things have increased my confidence. For today's patron, highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our Plata patrons, Bill Krejci, James Wade, Dovin Nagel, Lord of the Pan, Mandy Birchfield, Patrick Strickland, Dave Scott, and Donna Carnes as well. I'd also like to thank our Diamond Patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Hartley, Michael Kudel, Essa Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Bill Dallas, Garys, and John Calisi also. I'd also like to thank our channel members, Catbite, Stephen Fan, and Jeremy Cox as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I'll see you guys in the next video.